Hello folks, it's Friday and it's the 16th of August. I'm just going to do a quick check-in. Um, feeling feeling um, the effect of not having been to a record store in probably going on two months now. I hate it. It's, it's like I could probably slip, slip you know, and, and buy one record, but that's real hard to do, you know, for a person like me, you know, because I know if I go to the store, especially when I go to Grapefruit, there'll be more than one that I would like to get. Cheers, everyone. I'll just share a couple things and maybe do, do a poll and get out of here. Porcupine Tree. I saw this tour. Really good. I'm going to shout you out again, Devin. This is beautiful. And um, I um, am currently not working on anything. I have stuff in the bag. Um, ready to be released. Except for mastering. So the idea of trying to collaborate with you... If it happens, it will be a natural thing. It's not going to be a forced thing. I'm just extremely pleased with the work that you're doing. And it's like, well, this is very much, you know, it's just like, it's like, it's like right in your backyard. You're looking all over the world. You're listening to music from, from all over the world. And here's your great nephew out in California making wonderful sounds. Yeah, I'll, t I'll talk him up because it's, it's that good and I am impressed. And I hope that it leads to some sales for, for Devin. Greenfield by Osio Silver. I looked that up and I think it's, it's got something to do with watches, right? Kids these days. He's not a kid anymore but compared to me, you know. <laughs> so... I went out last evening. Um, it's been a long time. I went to um, a a yearly s series called Jazz on the Green here in Omaha. I've never played it, um, but I went last night, last evening, because a local R&B band, Big Wade and Black Swan Theory, were playing. They're very very popular and they're very good but also my boys are in the horn section for the band these days so i went down to um see blake and james and uh caleb who um i haven't worked with but is friends with those guys and um used to roommate with blake he plays too and so big fella you know no offense <laughs> to, to people that are obese but it always catches me you know when i know big big people you know this like oh hey big fella <laughs> anyway um i guess really uh, in, the thing that tickles me is i really have no expectations you know when i go out into public and so when i'm recognized that's cool which happens every time now but other things like I'm just walking through the crowd and as I get past this one lady, she just jumps up and says, Oh, look, you brought the bubbles. You brought the bubbles. And I, I look behind me and someone's been blowing bubbles. Oh, thank you. Those spontaneous connections with strangers tell me a lot about my feelings about humanity and my values. All I'm doing is walking and something about me or my presence causes this person to connect. Happens all the time in different ways and funny little ways. That one, that one was nice. I like that. The other thing that I liked was as I, um, I spotted Blake, you know, um, helping to set up a merch table so then go back behind the uh, 
the um, oh I forget the name of the dip, big the big uh, a place they're playing at beautiful place. So as I'm walking back to say hello, he spots me, and it's like it's like a kid seeing his dad. He just just like that jumps up and comes running over and give me the biggest hug. Oh, I just love you so much. That's what he said. I love it. You know, I had never met Big Wade before, as far as I know, but everybody knows who I am. So um, he comes up, you know, and he's coming up and greeting band members and hugging people. And I'm next to Blake and he comes up to me and I was about to introduce myself and he just goes, Mr. Higgins, gives me a big hug. It means a lot, folks. And I like sharing it. You know, I like sharing it. I heard from Victor from um, from Lamour Records. And also, I heard, got a message from Sebastian Hullert. Mullert. I'm really happy with um, my words about the album. Well, I wasn't kidding. <clears throat> This is beautiful, but I also found out there's only 200 copies of this. You better get on this, okay? It's on Bandcamp. Sebastian Mullert. I see where someone who has done for me what I haven't been doing on the last video is they um, added information about what I showed. Thank you. Um, I'll make no commitments, you know, I'll, I'll try to remember, but sometimes I just say, just fuck it, you know. Like I said, you can see what I'm showing. This is real good, people. Seriously, this deserves a wide audience. It's beautiful. I just love it. I played one record yesterday. Italian band, Aqua Fragile, from the 70s. This is 1973, the year I graduated high school. What a crazy, crazy year that was. This is a reissue, though. I think this is their first album. It's that classic Italian progressive rock where there's a lot of changes. It's very melodic. This is the band that Bernardo Lanzetta was in before he joined PFM. He's got a voice that you love or hate some similarity to Roger Chapman of family in a way it's it's weird Peter Gabriel on um, in the early days would hint at that type of singing the Roger Chapman family approach I like that album and it was enjoy an enjoyable spin So, since I'm just, you know, I know there's stuff that would be of interest to you, to you that I haven't shown and it doesn't occur to me. So I'm just going to again do something, a, a, a random, and let's hope it's not something I've shown before. Let's see, is this something you've seen before? Well, yes, because someone, someone from the BC sent this to me. North Sea Radio Orchestra with John Greaves and Annie Barbaza, Barbaza Foley Baloli. Song from Robert Wyatt's Rock Bottom. This is a lovely, people are so kind to me. This is a limited edition of 500, numbered number 338 out of 500. Haven't played this in a while, but it's a lovely package. This cardboard, the, the way it's printed, you get you get the music on CD, as well as as um the LP and wow, let me try to show this. It folds out. Oh, there's another card. Art. And lyrics. 
Wow. I think I forgot how elaborate this is. And here, so here's a cover. It folds out that way. It folds out again. This way is John Greaves and, and uh, Barbaza. And it folds out again. My memory of this is, uh, these are lovely renditions of the music. It's on a deep blue vinyl too. It almost looks black. Well, yeah, you can see that it's blue. It's pr pretty blue. Okay, this is this is this is up for play today, and that is one of the beauty beauties of these pools. Because, like the Anthony Braxton the other day, you forget stuff. And actually, that will be the, what I'll do. Because I think about that. As I I saw, I mentioned that the Anthony Braxton was my first actual BYG album in my collection. But it probably isn't. And um, I'll put that away in a second rather than what I think it's right here. Yes, these are probably the first actual BYG albums I've ever, I ever bought. And again, I got them on sale probably for a dollar or two a piece. Akam Kuhn, the uh, I believe he's, uh, he's a pianist. I forget where he's from. Paris is wonderful. Play sax to great player this stuff here it's on the free side but really really intense uh similar to cecil taylor and this one too sounds sound of feelings i might have found both of these at the same time or close to this was a long time ago back in the 70s when um the uh, byg label just didn't do what they thought it was going to do probably imported a bunch of copies to America and they all just went straight into the um, discount bins. And as I pull it, this came too. An album of his on impulse with his brother, the Rolf and Akam Kuhn, is it Yakam or Akam Kuhn qu Quartet with Jimmy Garrison and Aldo Romano. Impressions of New York, this is good. This is not fake jazz intense good stuff oh that was pretty good eh let's do it again i was down here let's go again what is it what is it? okay that's a big thick one i kind of know what it is so let's go over here and try to get something where it's like a i don't know Okay, so this is another one where you've seen it if you've been watching me, because I bought this at a record store day um, sale. Reissue of Novos Bianos, Akabu Korark, Karari, on the Som Libre label, which I don't have any originals of on this label from Brazil. But it strikes me as it was like the label, the whole cool label. I may be wrong. This is this is wonderful. May as well play it now that it's out. So, back to the heat today here in Omaha. I'm supposed to get up to ninety. It's a bit humid. Well, the other thing I'll say is I hope everyone's okay. Seriously, I hope that you folks that are here with me in your day, in your life, are the type of people who attempt to make make things better and connect with people and be kind and loving. So that's 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 all I want to say. It's, that's, that's the most that we can do 
Well, that's one of the best things we can do these days for the for the world is to just be decent people, unlike people who are mad for power and will lie, cheat, steal, and do anything, kill, murder, um, take over countries for no reason, just for power. I think it's madness. And I'm glad I'm not one of those people. And I hope you aren't either. Have a good weekend.